hello and welcome to orcus365 if you're new welcome to my channel if you've been subscribed welcome back um thank you for joining me for part two of uh this um mounting video um last video i showed you how i mounted one of my orchids on a on a mount the, that's just like the base of this basket um this all started with me looking for more reliable mounts for certain kind of orchids or species that just didn't do well in my or in my wood or sitting in um, terracotta or whatever so now i took it another level because i had this lying around to mount some work on and i haven't even used it yet and between the sun and the rain and everything it already looks gross it's not rotting just yet but it doesn't look pretty and why would i want to put such a beautiful orchid on something like that and then then have to worry about you know it tearing apart because I have to put it somewhere else already you can see the quality of these bamboo uh, pots is not what it used to be so um, I have her here she's beautiful I'm gonna drop her picture there and um, I think it's a facilis I'm sorry if I mispronounced it um, I did my usual for orchids that don't like to have wet feet like I call it and I put um, lava rocks um, horticultural um, charcoal and some packing peanuts and then I'm gonna use like a little bit of my bark over here um, what works for me may not work for you. You have to know that I'm in Florida. I and you know um, When we get those heavy rains and stuff I need something that allows them to completely dry before they get drenched again and with anything Related to Cattleya or any orcas that don't like wet feet. This has proven to be very successful It's either sitting in lava rocks and this mixture or it's mounted there's no other way that I can do these kind of um, orchids anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and give her a wiggle out of this pot. And then I'm going to see how she's going to sit in there. And I wanted to do this before any more roots started growing out. Because that way she just gets used to it. See? Can't have her sitting in anything. Ugh. Gross. So I'm going to loosen her up. Get rid of all this yucky stuff and moldy bark and whatever, whatnot. She was sitting in the pot that I purchased her in. I never got around to potting her. She was always blooming and happy, never paid mine. Then I started seeing a little bit of spotting, started treating her. She got better, she got new growth. So I'm like, you know what? Let me give her a better home. So we're gonna try this out. Let me go ahead and trim the dead roots. I'll be right back. So I'm pretty much very glad that I did that because the roots were starting to deteriorate and it was just this yucky stuff decomposing. So now she's sitting so pretty. I feel like she already got an upgrade. I love how she looks and I haven't even put bark in. I just sat her in on top of the lava rock, the charcoal and the packing peanuts and look how pretty she looks. Um, I'm wondering what I did with her tag gosh guys no matter how hard i try so i'm gonna go ahead and fill her up so she doesn't wiggle and then show you what she looks like so um this is the finished product um i hung her here just for the purpose of showing you how it looks like it just doesn't more justice she looks happier i used more of the heavier media that i know she'll do better in she was not happy sitting in all that mushy bark so i put her in what works for me she already looks like a much happier healthier plant so um with that being said, thank you for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this little um, repotting project and give me some feedback on uh, my uh, new basket if you'd like and a little sneak peek back there and this guy's opening today. With that being said, I hope you have a beautiful day. Stay safe, happy growing and be kind.